Okay, how are you all? So, today we're talking about cartels. Yep. Cartels and kirtan. Now, one of the things about cartels, which are these small hand symbols that you see, metal, is that <clears throat> they are some of the loudest, most penetrating sounds in the kirtan. And a very common fault in kirtan is to have too many cartels, or to have cartels which are too large, or to play the cartels too loudly. It's very common. So if you think about it, when you hear Hari Nam Party chanting in the street, oftentimes the first thing you hear is the cartels. You know, from a distance you hear this ch 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 And as you get closer and closer, sometimes that's all you can hear. It's very difficult to hear the chanting. So you have to be very careful, especially in an enclosed space. Playing the cartels too loudly is very distressing. It can be very distressing to the ears. Yeah, so you have to be careful how you play them. These are quite small cartels, and Prahlad has some really big cartels here, which are better for a larger kirtan. Now, the other thing about cartels and the sound that they make, I'm going to show you some technique on how to play them, you know, to control the volume. Um, but one thing about cartels is that they have a pitch. Now, these two symbols in this cartel set that I have have two different pitches, but I selected these ones because the, the sound of the two together is harmonious. But otherwise, you can get ones. You should get ones which are either exactly the same or are a hum, harmonious pitch. So listen to this. This is one of them. And this is the other one. This one is higher. actually don't sound that good, but they don't sound that bad either. <laughs> actually, they're very dissonant. So, especially with this pair, I would not play both of them together like that in kirtan. I would either use a very percussive technique, which makes them more of a percussive sound, or I would only play one at a time. I'm going to show you a technique for playing only one at a time. So, this one here will be played, this one will be dampened. So, I'm just holding this one, so it's not making any sound, and this one here, I'm just tapping it and releasing. I've got it wrapped around my finger, and then it's just kind of sitting there, free, freely, so it can ring. And I can control the ringing with my thumb. You can do it sideways, or you can do it on the top. Now in a kirtan, I would select the which one of these two tones of the cartels matches most closely to the pitch of the lead singer. If they're playing with a harmonium, I'd choose the one which is closest to the harmonium or just to their voice if they're doing it unaccompanied. And that makes things very harmonious, because it does have a musical tone to it. And when the musical tones match up, it sounds really nice. So you've got to be really careful. You need to underplay with the cartels. Underplay. Less than you think is necessary. Um, otherwise, the tendency in, in kirtan that I've observed is that people overplay, and really all you can hear is the cartels. They become disproportionately loud. Because cartels, you know, people will just be in there and just go, which is too much. It's just too much. You can hear, listening to the video, what that does to an electronic recording device. And um, that's when you listen to recordings of kirtans, it's all you can hear. If you turn the recording down, 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 suddenly you can't hear any chanting anymore, all you can hear is cartels. And if you, if you try to play a recording of a live kirtan as background music in a restaurant, in order to get the, the chanting at a level where people can hear it, the cartels become so loud that it drowns out any conversation in the restaurant. So really, it's an indication that we need to drop the uh, cartels back down. So that's the uh, standard beat. That's the one, two, three. It's it's a th it's it's a four, four beat. It's a four beat. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four.
So close on one and two, open on three, rest on four. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Okay, now those ones you're playing, those are too loud. You can't play those ones. In a kirtan of this size, those cartels have no place. These cartels are for playing in a big kirtan with two or more mridangas. These ones. You don't play these ones in a small kirtan like this. So I'll, I'll play these little ones and you chant. Okay? Okay. Ready? Hit it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. So the main thing is to control the volume of the cartels, to play them at the appropriate level for the kirtan, and the effect of the cartel playing should be sweet. Just like it says um, in the Gora Arti song, what does it say? It says, Jibaya yo, Jaya go, Rajandre, Arati Kajoba. Yeah, and then later on it says, Shanka Baje Ganta Baje. Madhu. 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 Shanka Baje. Yeah. So Shanka Baje means the conch blowing and Ganta Baje means the bell. So it means the bell that's ringing the arti and also by extension it means cartel. So Sanka Baje, Ganta Baje, Madura, Madura Mridanga Baje, Paramarasala, Madura Mridanga Baje, sweet, Madhu, the sweetness. So that's the, that should be the main, um, the main feeling, the sweetness. Then other things will come later when we get more percussive and louder. But uh, first the sweetness. Sweetness. And the appropriate volume and the attention to that. Because when you pay attention to having the appropriate volume of the cartels, it's, it's a symptom of, uh, of devotion, attention. Yeah, we're not going to do that one just yet. <clears throat> so that's a basic introduction to the basics. <clears throat>